Shalom. I'm uh, Mendel Edwardson from Israel. I'm continuing with the um, book, chapter by chapter, The Emmanuel Ethos, China's New Mandate of Heaven. The last video uh, was on what's called the first thunder, the unwritten thunders of Revelation. We're opening them one by one, even though they're not even written in the Bible. And the name of that thunder is come to the homeland of the revealed word of God, <clears throat> which means leaving Judeo-Christianity. God has a new name. Isaiah 7, 14, Amenuel means in Hebrew, Am Shalano Huel. In English, it means our nation is God, not under God. There's no direct scripture for a nation under God. Indirect, maybe, I hope, <laughs> for America's sake. Um, but this is our nation is God. It's a quantum leap forward. Now we're into the second thunder, second unwritten thunder. Uh, I'm going to uncover that for you, hitting the high points only, because it's complicated stuff. Uh, it's called <coughs> America's Nasty Identity Crisis. Now this was uncovered and written that way in 2007. More than 10 years later, it reads like current events. Um, Overall, what we're doing is building the New Jerusalem. And this first set of thunders early in the building stage of the New Jerusalem, or the Third Temple, you can call it also, is the first set of seven thunders is the story of the movement of power and influence and anointing from the West, from Christendom, out of Christendom, westward, further westward, into Asia. Now, once God leaves a place, it's called Ichabod. So America is Ichabod. We know the thunders formula for this first set of thunders. It's the composite understanding of each of the seven New Testament trumpets, New Testament vials of poison, and each of the New Testament events. There are seven of them of the sixth judgment seal. Okay, I'm going to hit the high points. Let me read a little from the book as an introduction. The composite understanding of the second trumpet is the second trumpet, the second vial, and the second event. The composite understanding of those three together will show us that the title of this and the meaning of this second thunder is America's Nasty Identity Crisis. As I said, it's written and uncovered 10 years ago, and it reads more like current events today than ever. Like fireworks exploding into more fireworks of the twilight's last gleaming, we enter the rising third day, third heaven, third heaven of Emmanuel. It was the first heaven of Judaism, the second heaven of Christianity, and the third heaven. Now, that our flag, American, was still there through the perilous night, has run its course. Today, another American major triumph and revival is a long shot. Now the oracles have continued westward out of the USA into an eastern dawn called, based on, our nation is God. The divinely written trumpets, judgment events of the sixth seal, and vials of poison are the stuff of our inspiring fireworks show as the western night descends one needs to look up to see its fiery beauty <clears throat> we continue with um, comments to get us into this subject okay the second trumpet which i'm going to read to you now Remember, we want to look at the second trumpet, the second vial of poison, and the second of the six seal events of the sixth seal. The second trumpet I'm going to show you now is the mountain of expired religion. Okay, the mountain of expired religion. Let me read the scripture for you on the second trumpet. <clears throat> It is all in the Christian Testament. The second trumpet sounds at this first feast of trumpets. Here's the scripture. And the second angel sounded. And as it were, 
<clears throat> a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and the third part of the sea became blood, and the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died, and the third part of the ships were destroyed. The mountain of expired religion is set on fire and cast upon the masses of the laity, the sea indicates masses, laity, Gentiles, ending in soul death and country disgrace. One third of the, I'm reading from the book, one third of the creatures die, human creatures. The scripture is preach the gospel to every creature. And these, us, we human creatures, we have Lucifer as a natural father, his sinful animal blood flowing throughout every capillary. That's called the, um, the doctrine of serpent seed, and that's uh, part one, chapter four. We're already in part two now. Uh, so it's a number of videos back, a number of chapters back on that idea of sinful blood flowing throughout every one of our capillaries. One third of the religious denominational ships are mothballed or destroyed. They are not seaworthy. Unlike our reliable arc of truth, our nation is God written on bow and stern. 100% biblically sound and correct. The signs were in the sky. This is the second coming discussed in part one, chapter two. Turn the picture sideways. Look at it in the right angle. Picture of the second coming, the cloud coming. Jesus, the man God, came and went like a thief in the night, like he said. It happened more than a generation ago, 1963, also precisely when the seven written seals, seven written seals were revealed, spoken by Mr. Branham. Gentile New Testament individual level of grace were shaken loose. That was the long awaited Christian rapture of 1963, discussed ex extensively in previous chapters and previous videos. Must know what time it is. We're post Judeo Christianity, especially post Christianity. Because Judaism has an eternal uh, promise. Christianity is very much time bound in between the first crucifixion and the thief in the night. Now God, no longer in a mercy role, is judge with his cloud white wig of authority, shown in the illustration of the second coming. His head and his hairs were like wool, as white as snow. John the Revelator saw him. Daniel saw him, the hair of his head like pure wool. The Ancient of Days, a wheel. In the middle of a wheel, Ezekiel saw him as he was rolling forward. I like that Ezekiel wheel in the middle of a wheel. It's progression. God showing more of himself. Not static like religion will give you. Not a static view. Like with the Ark of the Covenant during the ancient desert journey, sometimes God stops and then he moves again. When the cloud, within the cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night, the children of Israel uh, followed followed God in that way. There was movement. When God stopped, the children of Israel stopped. When God moved, they moved. God of Menuel, I and Mem, Nun, Rub, Aleph, Laman in Hebrew. Isaiah 7, 14, that's the new name of God, is closer to reaching its destination. The challenge is change, movement. Get away from that static religion. It's a bill of goods. Don't buy it. That's the, reading about the second trumpet, which is the expired mountain of religion thrown into the seas. Now we're getting to the second vial, because again, the second trumpet is the second trump. The second thunder is the second trumpet, the second vial, and the second event of the sixth seal. Uh, sixth seal. There are seven events in the sixth seal of judgment. Now, the vial is poured out into the seas, the Gentile multitudes. Let me read you about this second vial of poison. <clears throat> the second plague, plague vial is poured out upon the sea, the church multitudes. And the second, here's the scripture, and the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea. That's directly from the New Testament. There is the land and there is the sea. The land is Israel. Yet in the ark of truth, passing over defunct religious seas on its way to the symbolic New Jerusalem, which is being built solid, solidly here on earth, now we are laying its new faith foundation. We are building the New Jerusalem. The other last element to the 
Second seal is the second event of the sixth seal, which is darkness. There are seven events in the sixth seal. That's the written seal. We're uncovering the unwritten. And there's a lot of complications here. Um, it's darkness. I'm going to read you about that. That the second event of the sixth seal is darkness. Okay, um, the second event of the ominous sixth seal is, here's the scripture, the sun became black as sackcloth of hair. It's darkness. You can feel that darkness around us now. Don't you feel it? Mr. Brown was taken off the scene in 1965. No longer a prophet shout. We have no prophet. Theological darkness. God is blocked out. There are anointed, but no full-fledged prophet that I'm aware of, at least at this point. Okay. Um, I follow my outline. There's a lot of complications. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Um, okay. Uh, let me read further text about the second event of the uh, sixth year. I have some uh, paragraph circled here. Okay. Now we know what the three of them are. Um, the Vile, the trumpet of expired religion, drowned, the, which is useless, um, it's, it's just behind the curve, most religion is, the second vial poured out upon the multitudes, the seas, and the darkness of the sixth seal. So here the thunder of sounds. Now I'm going to tell you what the second thunder is. I mentioned before, it's America's nasty identity crisis, uncovered in 2007. By the way, um, let me reiterate again what I said in previous videos. The seven thunders are the transition uh, from the west to the east, the power anointing and uh, capability and leadership uh, moving from out of, out of the west into the east. And uh, if you say that's China, they are certainly have the momentum. They certainly lack a moral authority. So that's what we're going. That's what this is providing to China is a deep and broad moral authority based on the Bible. Orders of magnitude greater and deeper and wider than Christianity itself. Okay. Um, here the thunderous sound of the second thunder. The integrated meaning of the biblical second trumpet, second vial, and second the sixth seal event is the second thunder. And it's called America's Nasty Identity Crisis. The way I have it listed here is the thief in the night second coming and fast Jesus exit of the Lord occurred in 1963. Okay, no more Jesus blood sacrifice. America's left dangling with Ichabod. God is not here in America. He's moving westward. He's knocking on the door trying to go into China. There was one half hour of jaw-dropping silence in heaven as the seven written seals were opened by the sacrificed Lamb God. Uh, that one half hour of silence is um, derived and explained in previous chapters, previous videos. God, he came off his Son of God's seat of compassion, took the book, and opened the mysteries. Takes the book from his Father, as it's written in the New Testament. And he takes his own seat. The sonship is past. Gentile mercy is no longer. Now God is again on his own throat of David. Judgment looms. Judgment looms. The failure of human aspirations and today's American shame flow. American shame in the extent of it can't replicate its past glory despite worthy efforts. America's shame flows from the theological darkness. America's problem is theological. Until God's new name is learned and applied. It is a nasty USA identity crisis in long-term motion. The feminized and debilitated public unable to come to terms with the non-God-blessed status of America. This is the second thunder. It's certainly a thunderous sound, isn't it? 
The once successful two-party American political system has democratically miscarried into polarization. I've never seen such polarization as we have now in America. Vitriol and political failure. Multiculturalism, without the needed spiritual basis, has turned the United States into a dysfunctional, cleft nation. And as far as I know, that is going to stay like that. Maybe not exactly like that, but as far as becoming a god blessed leadership nation again, that's a very remote possibility for America. So, that's the second thunder. The darkness in America, the darkness on the globe. Um, that's the second thunder again. The seven thunders are the shift. This first set of seven thunders are the shift from the west uh, to the east. And as of this moment, the east does not have, they have the momentum, but they do not have the moral authority. And that's why Israel exists. Even more important than a Jewish homeland is to provide that moral authority. And I'm the one that happens to have that message, uh, which I stand on the shoulders of many other people to do that. So thank you. Till next time.